want to tell of the marvelous works of the Lord. Just want to take the next 30 minutes, just talk about the marvelous works of the Lord. Let me tell you what to talk about. The things God has done in this place in your life. The Holy Spirit nourished me that this is a season to annoy the enemy, annoy the difficulty you've been through, annoy these trying times with the chronicle and the litany. The chronicle and the litany of the works, marvelous, all of the works of the Lord. God heals people in this place every time we gather. It's a long time I had a testimony of God healing somebody here. So randomly, if there is a healing testimony, deliverance testimony, and you've been hiding it and you don't want to talk about it, nobody knows it, and you've been telling people of things that don't work, but you have not told of the marvelous works of the Lord, especially somebody who doesn't want to talk about it. The Lord wants you to talk about it. At the end of it, I may show you one, re one verse why you should tell about this. But I don't have to use a verse to persuade you and put pressure on you. So we just need about three people. Just want to hear whom my Lord healed recently. Because God heals. When we say the, these words are fulfilled in your hearing. If you don't believe it, it's your fault. These words daily are fulfilled in your hearing. So, praise the Lord. My name is Uduak Williams. Um, I, I am not quite used to do what I'm doing now, but I was sitting there when Reverend said, those that have a healing testimony should come out and do it. And I had a prompting in my spirit, so I went to the car to pick up this report. This is a medical report which I got in 2019. It has to do with lower back pain. Uh, the medical name is Lombo Sacra Spine. <laughs> Lombo Sacra Doctor, Spine. Doctor, no come, Doctor. Please. Eboto wants to correct. Give okay. him microphone. <laughs> Hello? Um, I think that should be Lombo Sacra Spine. Spine, yeah. And mm. before you even go to the diagnosis, I'm thinking spondylolisthesis. Look at the end. Spondylolisthesis. Early lumbar spondylolisthesis. Okay. Okay. Give him microphone. Okay. It's, it's actually um, between the lumbar vertebrae at the middle of this, uh, the bone towards the back that there is a shift. Okay, there's a shift in the in the vertebral column. So when there is a shift like that, and uh, the lumbar spine, and like what is written there, the diagnosis of what he was trying to say, immediately he started. I knew it was spondylo distasis. So what are the implications? He must have been seated, depending on what he does. I don't yeah, know exactly. Yeah, but the, the, the symptoms. He will be having severe pains, uh, inability to walk well most of the time, uh, weakness, weakness generally at the lower limb, and frequently inability to do the normal duty in a day. I'm very sure before now, when you, before you went for that uh, uh, x-ray, you must have had all those things. Yes, before I went for the x-ray, I don't know if I can demonstrate here how I used to manage to wake up in the morning. Normally, I cannot sleep like this because of the pain. I would not sleep face down because of the pain. So what I do is sleep by the side. And when I'm tired in the night and I want to turn to the other side, this is what I do because I can't turn like this. So I have to do this. Wow. 
That's how, how long did that last? That was going on until I came to uh, Uyo in December 2022. In the daytime, I could walk normally, you would not know I have such pains. But at night, when I go to sleep, in fact, if I'm praying in the night, I need to manage to stand up. And when I stand, wake up from the bed, I need to sit on the bed for a while before I will then put my two hands and raise my body up and walk gently to the convenience. So in the morning, I will have to do some exercises to free all these areas and then I go out. So I walk normal, nobody will know. But I can't do normal exercises because the pains will come up there. But before that time, before this experience, I was believing God for healing before I went to the hospital. And when that was done, I was told that there is no cure, that is degenerational. It's even written there, degenerational. So when I was told that right there, I refused to take that word and I converted that word to regenerational. I told my spirit is going to regenerate whatever made it to degenerate is going to regenerate. And when I came to the school of the Holy Spirit, there's so much of standing and I needed to stop because of the too much of standing to pray. But the Spirit of God told me to continue and I continued each time we are praying for healing, I'll put my hands there and it's one of the things I asked God, though I didn't write it and put it there as a prayer request, but I tell you now, I can do all things. <laughs> so when Father was asking the second time, Nobody has talked about healing and that person should come out. Another person will talk about healing. There's still somebody, there are people, but the Holy so, Spirit said we should talk about healing because God is going to heal people by the testimonies. Yeah. By the testimonies. If you have been healed by God in this place, that's what I'm talking about. It's not a general testimony. We are talking about the encounter of healing in this house, in this place. We, we need to make it known. Testimony of healing is very important. God wants to hear us talk of all the marvelous work of the Lord. I want to celebrate God for Udwak Williams and um, you can do all things, sir. Can do all things. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Hallelujah. You, Jesus. Celebrate the goodness of God. He's, he's a gift to me as a person. He's a gift to me. You know, looking at how he got up, you wouldn't imagine he had such a condition. Amazing. Good afternoon, family. Actually, I wanted to come, but she <laughs> said she would come and give the testimony. Mm. Father, you don't know about this one. It was after a period in my life, I was facing a lot of challenge, a lot of attack. I think you got, uh, you, are, you know this one I'm, I want to say before I get to the main testimony. It was after my partners came in from the U.S. We had a meeting at Le Meridian. It was a wonderful project up to today. I put that project on hold because of what I encountered. After that evening, okay, it was in the morning, I run into the afternoon, we had the meeting ended and I have to go and pick my son from King's Kid. So I took him home. My wife came back. So I told her, let me see off my vestos. So they went to the airport, they left. After that, I didn't know myself. That was how I drove from Uyo to a certain village in Ikorekbene to the end of the road, very bad road, and my foot got finished. I didn't know myself. Everything about me was in the car, my laptop, everything was there. Then the people that guide that place, the vigilante, came out. In that place, it's a very dangerous place. You don't go there and come back alive at that very 
point in time. I, they realized at a time like that, very late at night. My wife was calling, everybody was calling. I never knew what happened. So the vigilante people was the one that came. I think they asked of my name, so I told them. And they said, are you the son to the prophet? I didn't want to bother them. I said, no, because of my name, they just, okay. Those people left every other place they got it. They stayed with me. I was in the front of the church. It was a shock. So it was in the morning that they understood because of how I was relating to them that I was not coordinating. Everything in me left. So they took me to the church. After, the, I think the church had a tarry night. After the prayers, I got myself back. That was when I had to call my wife, explain where I was. And one thing led to the other. Everything about me was intact. I was not uh, abused. Nothing happened to me. I was not harassed. So after that period, he has forgotten that it was during the school of the Holy Spirit this session that the arrow of madness, you know, you mentioned the case. That was when the arrow finally left. He had memory loss. I mean, someone leaving the house and then the next moment, he's mad. That is how bad it was. But you, you mentioned his case during the school of the Holy Spirit in his time and that yoke was broken. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. So after that, we got to Father. So Father prayed for me and told me that was the last of such attack. So from that point in time, I got myself, my sanity back. And after a period of time, I noticed that one half of me, one side of me from my head, stroke. I couldn't use everything on this side. I didn't tell my wife, because um, I'm one person, I'm stubborn, I don't like, she knows about that. <laughs> I don't like talking about things that are not relevant. So, I so keep you, it to you my... Feel, you I feel think. not using one part of you was not relevant. <laughs> so, when she got to know about it, she went for prescription, they brought a lot of medication. I took... While taking this thing, now something else, like ulcer, started, you know, having this sense that I was having other things that was disturbing me. I told her, I took your drug. I gave it to her. I stopped taking them. Then while coming, I don't really, I can't really remember, but it was doing service. You keep mentioning, touch yourself where you have problem. You know, healing is coming. I keep touching myself, keep touching this very part of me. In fact, I didn't know when the thing left. I didn't know when the thing left, and I told her. So today, when you got mentioned, when you mentioned of uh, somebody having one striking yeah. uh, testimony, I said, let me come. Thank you. I'm here to return all the glory to God. Thank you, sir. And during the healing service, I'm sure God will visit you. There is something you have said that strikes a code that I needed to hear this. Recently, while I was praying around here, God spoke to me about the gift of healing. And I will say a few things about that while ministering to people. Just five minutes. Thank you so very much. You are restored perfectly in the name of Jesus Christ. All other areas, restoration is 360 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> good morning, family, or good afternoon, family. I am here to thank God for healing me from poison. Um, I think um, last month, sometimes last month, it happened that there was a day I went to work. I, when I returned, I was very tired. My phone was switched off, and... Um, I couldn't pray that night. So I saw myself in a dream in my village. It seems it was like a party and someone offered me a food. And I ate. since I woke up from that dream, I wasn't myself again. I tried everything. I got to Quinto Pharmacy, got some drugs. 
the, mo the more I took the drugs, the more it wasn't the problem. So until one day, one Sunday, about a couple of Sundays ago, I used, actually used my last energy to come to church. So when I came, subconsciously, when I alighted, I said, I'm receiving healings today. So towards the end of the church that day, Father mentioned that there is a woman here. I don't know if you can remember church. Can you remember? Father said, there is a woman here that is with poison. And um, I did not even know that what was wrong with me was poison. Because I was having stomach aches. I, I took all the drugs. It did not work. So the moment Father said, there is a woman here with poison, he pointed to the other side. And I was sitting right there, so I could hear a movie. He said, by the left-hand side of your stomach, there is this thing. And instantly, I received, I could hear a move, something move from my stomach instantly. So when I got home, <laughs> when I got home that Sunday, I visited the toilet over six times. And Monday, the same thing. Tuesday, the same thing, and that was the end. So I'm here to tell God, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Can you rise to your feet? Oh, Lord, my God. When I'm in awesome wonder, consider the works thy hands of me. I see the star, I hear the rolling thunder, thy path through the universe display. Then sings my soul, my soul, how may thou art, how great thou how God spoke to me that um, and I've had some distinctions. There are two levels of healing. There is healing miracle, instant healing miracle. Walking as a gift of miracle. But there is healing as a gift that is a process. You receive the healing and you fully gradually recover. I was praying and that conversation broke out and told me that is these healing gifts that operate in you, you don't pay attention to. And when you pray for people, one of the things I keep hearing is that I don't know when he left. Have you been hearing that? And God told me pay attention to it. Because sometimes I don't even, you know, I don't pay attention. He told me to pay attention today. We want to bring about two levels. There is the one that is coming as miracle. It means it will, it will, it will disappear instantly. And there is the one that will come as a process, and you will forget. And I see a man who smokes. What I see is a chain smoker. I don't know whether you are watching me or listening to me on radio, or you are here, but a chain smoker. God is saying, gradually, you will lose interest. Lose interest. I just want you, anyone in this place, and God said I should tell somebody, 
when we ask you to pray for healing some of you may say but I'm not sick and you stand sometimes people go to bed and don't wake up the following day because all the time they had issues they did not know about so a moment like this should be a moment I want you to take advantage of I want you to take advantage of I want you to tell God heal me I want you to ask, tell, just tell God, I want you to heal me. There's a healing gift in this house operating and is activated now. Lay your hands wherever, whatever part of your body. There's somebody who has partial impotence, is like, has lost full erection, full erection as is gone and and I'm told it's as a result of the hard drugs you've been taking somebody the heavy hard drugs you've been on has led to the loss of full erection well eyes closed so you can lay your hands And I'm asking how many people will be healed today? I will tell of all the marvelous works of God. All those who want to tell of all the marvelous works. Just tell God, please heal me, heal me. Let it be your desire. Let it be your request. Let it be your asking. Let this house pray for healing. Say, Lord, heal me. There's somebody here, your mother is in pain at home. God wants to show you a sign. As you lay your hand at the parts, the, the, the part of the body where your mother has pain, God is going to heal your mother. God is going to heal your mother right now. Let this house pray for healing. Healing of wombs. Healing of the reproductive system and organs of men and women. Healing. Please, church, pray for healing. God wants to heal. Don't say you are young. Anybody who can hear me, pray for healing. If there is a specific place you want to lay your hand, you go ahead. If you don't have a specific place, you can lay your hand on right your chest or your forehead. Let this house pray for healing. If you have a daughter, a, a son that has been sick, a child that has been sick, let this house pray for healing. There is healing grace. Healing grace. There is healing grace. God is healing somebody of insomnia. Somebody who finds it difficult to sleep by day and by night. God is healing somebody of insomnia. God is healing somebody of anxiety attack. Anxiety attack. It's been a long time we pray for healing in this house. Lord, let your healing grace flow from the men to the women, the children, young and old. Eyes are healed. The first lady, there's, there's a word of knowledge God is going to give to your spirit. There's a specific healing case God is going to place in your heart. When you get that information, God will want you to pray and speak healing upon those people. But wherever you are, let it be just speaking, speaking of healing in this place. You send your word, and then you heal my disease. Don't sing, just speak. You speak, say, God, heal me. You are the Lord, my healer. Take this time. Value this time. God is doing something. Young men, before you discover you, lo you have low sperm count, you can lay your hands and ask God, Normalize. I don't want to ever know. You are the Lord. 
dar ilen. You are the Lord, my heal. Shalaba settle. Arrows are living somewhere here. There's a sensation. For some, it's like cold water. For others, it's like heat. A sensation of the spirit. You are the Lord, my heal. There's healing going on right now. Holy Spirit. Somebody has been having symptoms of kidney issue. And you are not even sure. You have been having pain at the particular side of your tummy. And it's been so piercing at points. But you have been afraid. You've not been able to go for medical tests. The Lord is healing you. The Lord is healing you. Kidney stone. Oh, there's somebody with intestine issues. Issues with your intestine. And you have problem with specific food. Certain kind of food that you cannot even eat. And your health has not been beautiful. God is healing your intestines. Holy Spirit. Eyes infection, eyes degeneration, the degeneration of the eyes reverse. Holy Spirit. Chest, heaviness of the chest lifted, respiratory things lifted. Rabo, make a covenant and tell God I will testify by this time next month. By the last Sunday of next month, when testimonies are called, I will be among them. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Sing everyone. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Addictions are broken. I take, I take smoking from you. I take drugs from you. You will no longer love drugs. You will no longer love drugs. I take masturbation from you. I take masturbation from you. I take masturbation from you. I send it to the abyss. There is somebody here, a woman. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a woman, there's somebody here, a particular old woman has been attacking you in your dream. And each time that attack happens in the dream, you wake up and your life is in disarray for a long time. Today, I slay that woman in the name of Jesus. The next time you have encounter with a woman in your dream, you shall see the dead body of the woman. Lift up your two hands and wave. Arrows are living as you wave, things are leaving you. Just say thank you. Things are leaving you. Halabo shata. I don't care what poison in your blood. Blood poison. Blood poison is reversed. Oh, surgery, 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 surgery is taking place. Wave those hands. Surgery is taking place. I don't know what part of your body that you need surgery is already taking place. Oh, celebrate the goodness of God. Begin to say thank you. You're going to say thank you. Mention what he has done. Say thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Eyes closed. And if you are here, Jesus Christ is not yet the Lord of your life. What a time to accept him as Lord and Savior. And in this house, we are going to rededicate our lives to him. Whether you already know Jesus and you are loving him, you are going to make a new dedication and a new consecration. And say, I will serve you till the end. And if you have not yet taken it, you have never taken a decision, or you took a decision and then backslid it and walked away from the place of new life, wherever you are, this is an opportunity. 
everyone you will say this with me Lord Jesus Christ I didn't hear you say it with all of your faith say Lord Jesus Christ I believe you are the Savior of the world the salvation of God and my salvation too now I hand over this life all over to you take all of my life everything in this life every imperfection every weakness every sickness every curse every shame death and decay take sin from me say I, I receive you as my new life I receive you as my righteousness I receive you as my holiness I receive you as my Lord and Savior through you your father is my father and your spirit is my spirit what is not true in you is not true in me from this moment amen stretch out your two hands like you are receiving a gift how about welcoming fruit of the womb for those who have been inspecting how about receiving new jobs in this house new business opportunities how about new marriage proposals engagement rings how about business opportunities receive something call it by name Patrick Grace Henry is the president, Grace Family Commonwealth of Champions. Worship with us every Sunday in any of our services, Rising Stars Assembly by 7 a.m. and Champions Family Assembly by 9 a.m. Earth Live on Planet 101.1 FM and Spectrum TV at 10 a.m. Every Thursday for Word Power Encounter by 5 p.m. Venue Goshen, Kilometer 14, Wangi Road, a Kamban Sukara Uyo Akwaibum State. Join our live streaming on Facebook, YouTube at Grace Family Outreach and on the Christ Radio app. You can become a part of this great revolution by becoming a partner today. To all our partners and friends, we say thank you. For partnership, please call 0907-383-8742. For prayers, counseling, and inquiries, please call 0818-043-3225 or 0803-671-5303. Grace Family, raising champions from ordinary people.